this is the uh, windshield coming up and this is a scoop that, so that the air is compressed through there and goes along the length and it's closed off by a similar angle at the back and when the air hits the back it lifts it and which lifts all the magnets and starts to produce electricity. Then when the air stops it drops and these springs up here are return springs of some kind, but they're not the most important thing. It's more effective, we will find, to shut off the air supply with some sort of uh, a slot shutter, you know, in front, so that it rapidly turns on and off the air. We found that it can move very fast, and so, you know, it builds up the capacitors, which are stored back here or underneath in another place, but you can go several feet without losing uh, voltage and so on. And uh, it's being changed from AC to DC by, uh, by the usual uh, bridge rectifiers, full bridge rectifiers, which don't lose any energy in the translation. Many people think it loses half the energy when it's translated from AC to DC, and that's not true, it, because there's the uh, it cuts off the sine wa wave, and the bottom wave is superimposed on the top. So it's either or, either or, either or. So you know you get the same voltage and the same amperage. You know. Well, however, it affects the wiring. You need heavier wiring with a uh, DC than AC, which is one reason why high voltage wires and other wires have been as AC a lot. Household wiring. Look. 902. Try and get a shot of that so that it's readable. It has to be a real close-up, Will. You know? Oh, now it's back down to six-something. So you can see why we need a shutter, you know, that lets the air through, you know, very rapidly in bursts to make this go up and down because the air leakage theory did not work. You know, the leakage is too slow and it, it, too ineffective. So you can see each one is wired separately. You'll see that the capacitors are all different sizes and you can relate them to the... Uh, the middle one is connected to a big one here and a big one here. This is the middle one, the one that went up to eight and then has gone down. So it's uh, providing less resistance, but it's 27,000 UFs, the lower one. So it's much more to fill than the other ones. And the other ones are hovering around four and a half, five volts, you know. So this is about the action that has to be done continually. Go right in while it's squirting. That's it. So we got a high of 9 volts on one reading or the center reading. And, uh, you know, with the, the hand and without a shutter, the shutter is something like a 16 millimeter uh, film. A uh, movie projector, you know, which uh, cuts out the light with holes every uh, 16 or 24 frames. Here's one that's just a plane, and as these scoops fill and uh, spin, but with the differential air pressure of the curve out and the curve in in the scoop, it uh, turns it and it'll turn the air on and off, on and off. This is the uh, the addition that needs to be made to a roof, a practical automobile roof, and of course many more of these, you know, and they're more powerful. These are one inch magnets, you know, and 16, 15, 1600 uh, turns. Easily, you've seen other videos where I did 24, 2500 turns and it got up to 52 volts. You see what I mean? So, you know, the, the, the object of getting it to uh, to at least 40 and preferably uh, over 50 to 56 or so 
uh, is still problematic, but it's, it's definitely within range of this type of coil magnet movement up and down uh, method. <laughs>